Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. And I am the host. My name is Catherine. You can call me Queen. And I am here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages for all of our beautiful Cancers. If you are here in the extended, I love you and I thank you. And the reason why you may be here is because you saw part one of this message on YouTube. It is a free message and a channel where I do free readings every single day as much as possible and you can check me out there please make sure you go and subscribe to my channel make sure you comment let me know what you think you guys let me know what you want to see more of anything that I can do better let me know your comments mean so much to me also if you would like to request a personal reading I do those as well send me a request to my email address at queencantertarot at gmail.com all right and I mean personal so it's whatever method you choose to have your reading delivered and I have multiple multiple different um ways that you can have your reading presented all right cancer so let's get going we're getting back to you and your person it looks like you're walking away and this person is coming in cancer trying to make one last ditch effort to stop you this person is being very bold like they're being very brave because first of all not only did you find out about this queen of wands and this is the reason why this person was being very very just nasty very pompous very just selfish and thinking that they had whatever they wanted cancer until you cut the cord and walked away and decided that you were no longer going to play the fool all right and you decided to do your, your own thing now this person wants to rush back in cancer once you've walked away with this eight of cups now we have the knight of wands coming in cancer and what is he coming in with this four of wands and the wheel of fortune so now all of a sudden this person is coming in wanting to offer you higher levels of commitment but with justice here cancer you are like mm, not so fast not so fast with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Cups in the reverse, this is somebody who is coming in being very, very bold, very brave, trying to um, stop you from leaving Cancer, um, but you're needing some clarity. Four of Cups in the reverse is also representing someone getting clarity about a situation after having been withdrawn or been away. And with clarity and illusion, Cancer, I feel like there is something that you are being warned about. So let's go ahead and clarify the Oracle before we start here. Woo woo. Alrighty. Let's see with clarity here. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity? What guidance? What love messages do we have for Cancer and Cancer's person? Tell us about clarity, please. Rather quickly, and we have the death card here. So this talks about somebody letting go or something needing to change or end Cancer. Um, underneath the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. So with the Seven of Pentacles, this represents that person that is asking and begging you for patience, wanting you to just stick around and see the good in the situation and hold on and find some reason to stay. But with the Death card here, Cancer, I feel like you are seeing that this needs to end. There is some reason why you are just not really sure about continuing. And with the Two of Wands and the Queen of Wands, Cancer, I feel like you just are not ready to pull the plug yet. You are not sure about this third party energy. Tell us about illusion here, Cancer. Tell us about illusion. Holy Spirit. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And this is the energy of perhaps someone 
who is wanting that happily ever after cancer and you're feeling like this is an illusion underneath the deck you have the eight of wands and this is somebody who is making that change somebody who is all of a sudden coming in and doing something different going in a completely different direction so while you may think things are very secure here and while you know this person is coming in like they've changed all of a sudden all of a sudden you can find this security in this person they're going to give you happily ever after and i feel like with eight of wands cancer this is a trick and an illusion this person is going to switch up on you very very quickly you have the hanged man and the lovers i feel like after a time cancer there this person is going to be the same person going back to being that same person being tempted by this temptation again i'm trying to tell you give us another one for illusion please okay and we have the queen of cups like this person is trying to heal something with you cancer but with the three of pentacles underneath the deck this person is still very much embroiled in this third party energy like this three of pentacles is not disappearing yet here let's find out tell us what the challenge is cancers tell us what the challenge is holy spirit okay we've got quite a few here so we have the nine of swords the fool in the reverse cancer the four of pentacles and the strength card here somebody is holding back something cancer with the fool in the reverse this represents somebody who is very inconsistent and you cancer i feel like are stressed out about this like this is something you know the nine of swords represents somebody betraying someone it represents um it, it's just that ultimate betrayal here um, and with the fool in the reverse, this person is just very inconsistent. With the four of pentacles, this is someone being very guarded here, Cancer. And the strength card can represent someone as well who's being very just almost, you can say, stubborn. Underneath the deck, you have the magician the knight of swords and the page of swords with the chariot i feel like you really do not trust this person cancer this person is rushing in wanting to manifest with you but you are not trusting this person with the page of swords you are asking a lot more questions tell us about the final outcome ten of cups I saw the ace of wands and the nine of cups cancer that's the page of wands the ten of cups the page of wands and the nine of cups cancer this person really is saying they want happily ever after with you cancer but you ultimately feel like there is something that is missing there is something that is missing cancer and i feel like you are not wanting to be in this commitment see you have the three of cups keeps coming up under the deck with the ace of swords and the six of swords cancer like you are choosing i feel like to go your own different direction the truth about this three of cups is too much for you to bear cancer and you are going to find yourself ultimately having to part ways
I'm sorry, Cancer. Let's pull a love oracle for you. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for Cancers, please? With clarity and illusion, like that was a warning for me. And I never take my warnings lightly. <laughs> Whoops. I, I never take my warnings lightly. And, um, and there was obviously some clarity that you needed to have about the situation here, Cancer. And I would never keep that energy from you. This is a very important message to, to get out to someone. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life, Cancer. So please never ever be afraid to let something go. See this Three of Swords and this Ace of Pentacles, Cancer, with this Eight of Swords here. This is you. This is you. In the midst of all these swords, this is your relationship. You know, what if I if I leave this person, they're going to be all alone. People are going to think that I abandoned them. You know, I'm going to be alone. Am I going to be able to, you know, afford to live on my own? Like all these swords are all these thoughts, Cancer. Unwanted thoughts, Cancer. And imagine these dissolving into the light when you cut this energy out with this Three of Swords. And we kept seeing the threes pop up here with the Queen of Wands, like you kept seeing it. And imagine all of that negativity just disappearing. If you cut out the reason behind it, you saw that the Lover's card. If you just cut that energy out, Cancer with the ace of swords here just cut that out then you won't have that problem anymore and new opportunities and new possibilities coming into your life that's that ace of pentacles very beautiful for you and I feel like you guys have a very very beautiful and bright future um I'm going to go ahead and give you one to go on, Cancer. That card wants to come out. Give you another one, Cancer. Oh, all right. All right, Cancers. Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles, Cancer. And this is ultimately you finding peace you um staying being patient cancer and this is all about patience this is all about patience so um i feel like it takes patience to go through what you went through cancer with the ten of wands i know that is ultimately that was like the last straw for you and you had to leave but you stayed committed until the very end cancer and i feel like ultimately you are going to win ultimately you are going to win because of that you are going to win because of that you went through a lot of mental stress you went through a lot of mental conflict a lot of intimidation from that king of wands and that king of pentacles in the reverse energy cancer and with the moon there were a lot of secrets cancer there was a lot of illusions that's that illusion there was a lot of this that popped up and you got the moon card as well underneath that illusion and with the strength card here cancer with strength card here cancer you were able to hold your own and make it through to the end there's strength again that's you ultimately being brave throughout this entire process. 
So, Cancers, that one was for you. I love you guys so much. I hope this does resonate with one more all of you beautiful Cancers. This was a message that needed to get out for someone. And I love you guys so very much. And I will see you on the next message. We are going to be doing the career and finance for Cancers for May. And you can catch that free on my channel on YouTube. So go subscribe right now. See you soon. Bye.